What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today is a super awesome day, not just because it's Black Friday, but because we're releasing our very first plugin for After Effects and Premiere Pro called the Black Mixture Toolkit. Now, the reason why we're launching this on Black Friday isn't just because our name is Black Mixture, but it's because we want to get this in the hands of as many people as possible. So we're having the biggest sale of the year for our launch. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out that description, get that discount. Now, this toolkit we constructed with over 1,200 different elements ranging from VFX assets, motion graphics, animation presets, project files, templates, and so, so much more. So honestly, it would take us forever to dive into every single product in this video, but we're gonna be going over my absolute favorite ones, the ones that we use on projects that have gotten us over millions of views, thousands of dollars from clients. And the best part is that it saved us a whole lot of time and a whole lot of headache. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, this pack is jam packed with a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna go through as quickly as possible, but I'll be highlighting my absolute favorites, the ones that we've used time and time again. And each pack that I cover is gonna be getting more and more useful. So make sure you guys stick around to the end because I'm saving the best for last. Now, another huge part of the Black Mixture Toolkit is not just the paid packs that come with it, but also full access to some free plugins as well. So the first thing, installing and downloading. You guys may be curious, how is it possible to download over 1200 elements in After Effects without getting your head exploding by clicking a bunch of links and put them all in specific folders and, and worry about all that stuff. But don't worry because we partnered with Ajuice and their pack manager, which makes it super, super easy to download all of these. Not only that, but it comes organized and it gives you these really awesome previews that you can go ahead and install it without having to spend too much time or headache at all. So the way it works is after you guys have bought the Black Mixture Toolkit, you're gonna see it automatically pop up inside of the Ajuice Pack Manager, which is its own standalone software if you wanted to use this with not just After Effects, but even other video editors. But if you do plan to use this for After Effects, there's also a really handy extension so that you don't ever have to leave the software at all. Not only that, but all the previews work right there inside of the browser and it's as easy as just clicking on it and dragging and dropping it into your scene. Another really cool thing about using the pack manager is that you also get access to some of the free plugins as well, such as the GIF exporter. I highly recommend you guys go ahead, download the GIF exporter for yourself because it's gonna give you a whole bunch of set of options. You can make your own shortcuts for activating it. It's just much more comprehensive and the best part is it's free. So make sure you guys go ahead Ahead and get that as well. Okay, so first up, I wanna to talk to you guys about the VHS pack. Now, this one we have used time and time again to make our brand new HD 4K quality footage look like it was shot on an old school 1980s or 1990s camera. And this is extremely useful if you're doing things like music videos or even documentary style motion graphics where you don't want things to look as crisp and as clean as possible. Sometimes you actually want to distort your footage. And a huge portion of using After Effects is actually color correcting and making footage look a little bit different from how you originally shot it. So take a look at some of these scenes because it's as easy as just dragging and dropping in some of these effects, or you're also able to construct different title sequences and different scenes using these different constructors inside of it. I really love the fact that this is modular so that you guys aren't getting the same looking VHS effect like you would if you're using just the trap code suite. And instead this lets you construct things like having in those different overlays, different noise transitions, as well as really being able to fine tune the overall look and feel to match your aesthetic inside of this. Another really cool thing about this is that whenever you drag and drop it into your footage, you're either gonna get an option to go inside of that composition. So this is a super versatile pack and definitely one of our favorites here. Next up, we have the glitch pack, which is one of my favorites because making glitch effects in After Effects can either be super time consuming or super easy to do, and it's all dependent on having a plugin. I don't know why After Effects doesn't have its own built in plugins that really handle glitch effects well enough, but either way, we have the glitch pack inside of the Black Mixture Toolkit to allow you to construct different glitch scenes super easily and save yourself a whole lot of time. So this pack is extremely useful if you're making music videos, making video game trailers, or just wanna add a little extra flair to your motion graphics and title sequences. As a tip, this one also pairs really well with the Cyberpunk HUD pack that we have included in the Black Mixture Toolkit. And if you've ever seen our Neon Glitch Effects tutorial or even our Best Glitch Plugins video for After Effects, then you might recognize this pack because this is the exact one that we use time and time again to make these awesome looking effects. 
Just take a look at how a simple scene like this could instantly get transformed by just adding in a couple layers of glitch effects and cyberpunk HUD elements. This is also really useful for creating documentation for some of your more technical projects. So we've actually used this for our projection mapping project when we wanted to showcase just how revolutionary and how techy some of this is. But by default, our documentation footage did not look impressive at all. So that's why we added in some HUD elements and cyberpunk transitions to really hammer home how cyberpunk inspired this effect was. Another really cool one that paired well with this is our pixel CRT effect which is really useful for VFX compositing if you want to make your scenes look like they were shot on a television. And these are really helpful for making retro style graphics and making a scene look like it has that true authentic 80s aesthetic. Okay, next up we have Epic Trailers, which has got to be one of my favorite packs. And you guys are probably going to recognize this from all of our top 10 videos. So anytime that we have one of those numbers pop up on the screen counting down from 10 to 9 to 8, you guessed it, it is from the Epic Trailers pack. These ones come equipped not only with just text effects, but even background and foreground compositing elements like those really nice sparks or that really awesome looking smoke in the background. And it's honestly as simple and as easy as just dragging and dropping this into your composition. Whether you're working with After Effects or if you're working with Premiere, there's also motion graphics templates in there so that you can save as much time as possible. Another awesome part about this is that it is highly customizable. So I recommend that you guys, whenever you're using this, to go in and change whatever font it is to match whatever your brand style is so we tend to use the objective font but again this pack will work with just about any font and apply all of those really nice lighting and textures right on top of that Ooh, okay so next up we have one that is super helpful if you're doing any sort of commercial work which involves you referencing social media or something on a television or something online and that is our digital screen constructor so this lets you make those scenes look like they were shot on a television you probably have seen them in different movies we've used them for short films whenever a character is typing something online or getting a new notification. You may also see these in those Netflix style documentaries capturing a time when people were typing on the internet and you're filming it. Yeah, a huge trick is that you guys don't have to film this by hand. It's much easier to actually composite a scene like this in After Effects. Now, I love this effect because it looks so realistic as if you're using a macro lens on the screen, but the benefit of this is that it is fully modular and completely customizable, and it's really easy to use. Next up, we have the Seamless Transitions Pack, which I guarantee you guys have seen online time and time again, whether that's in music videos or just other people's YouTube videos. I mean, we've used it here on the channel plenty of times if you've ever watched our After Effects Basics tutorial with the fire net hand. Yeah, that intro scene was made using a really easy trick which is the seamless transitions pack. By default, hard cuts are really awesome if you're doing match cutting, but sometimes if you wanna transition between something like a motion graphics element and a real live footage, or maybe even a screen capture, it does help to kind of convey a little bit of movement in between those two scenes. So one thing I like to use is the seamless transitions pack to merge those two scenes together, whether that's doing a simple zoom in with a little bit of warping around the edges, or if I wanna make it look like it was shot on a camera and we're doing a rack focus really quickly. A really awesome thing about this is that it works with any resolution and you can also customize some of the focus points on it to really change how you're using these transitions dependent on your scene. And last but not least, my absolute favorite one is actually a surprisingly simple one, but I don't know why it is such a pain in the ass to do in After Effects by yourself, and that is doing letterboxes and different film overlays. And it's actually a two for one pack in here. It's our letterboxes and split screens effect. Now, this one is the most versatile on the list because it can work with just about any software, ranging from After Effects to Nuke to Premiere Pro. And not only that, but it is an effect that I guarantee you guys are probably going to have to do at some point in time, which compositing together multiple different shots in an aesthetic and beautiful way. So we've used these on things like commercials and music videos, and even here on the channel whenever we want to showcase multiple effects that we're going to do in the video. Now, just like all the other packs on this list, it's as simple as dragging and dropping it into your scene and then customizing it with which footage that you want to put in which box or which section. So anyways, I couldn't get through everything in this video without it taking forever so if you guys wanted to check out in more detail and see a little bit more as to what each of these packs can do it's all up there on the website you guys can see little previews as to how each of these plugins are used what sort of projects these work really well with but some honorable mentions that i did not get to dive into is the prism effect our cyberpunk transitions the cartoon comics pack which is just a whole lot of fun newspaper constructor kinetic typography the youtube blogger pack creative titles 
And yeah, there is just so, so much more. So make sure you guys go ahead, check out that link in the description box. It's gonna take you right there to the Black Mixture Toolkit where you can go ahead, see each of these packs, what sort of projects they work really well with. And depending on when you're watching this video, if it's Black Friday, I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and make sure to snag that huge discount. It's pretty much over 50% off. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.